What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Cricut Innovate E 5G and the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, and if you want to learn more about either of these phones individually, I will be linking to several other videos about them in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So with the Cricut Innovate E 5G, we're getting a 6.6 inch LCD display with with a resolution of 720p, a PPI of 269, and an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. With the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, we're getting a 6.6 inch 120Hz PLS LCD display with a resolution of 1080p, a PPI of 400, and an aspect ratio of 20 by 9 as well. So on one hand, while the Cricut Innovate E 5G doesn't really have a bad display for what it is, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is significantly better. With the 1080p resolution, the image is going to be a lot sharper, which tends to be a good thing when you're consuming a lot of content, and not only is it sharper, but even the colors and brightness just look a lot better on the A23 5G and with the 120Hz refresh rate versus the standard 60Hz refresh rate we're getting with the Cricut Innovate E 5G, the movement on the screen is going to be a little bit faster and smoother, so if you're doing something like watching videos, playing games, or really anything that has a lot of motion on the screen, you will get a better experience with the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G and things are going to feel a little bit more premium in general. And another thing I do want to point out here is that with the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, although this phone doesn't have an AMOLED display or anything like that, the viewing angles are still a a little bit better, so if you're outside in the sun for example, the A23 5G is going to be a little bit easier to see. So in general, if you're consuming a lot of content, or if you're just going to be on your phone a lot, doing stuff like web browsing, social media, things like that, if having a good display is important to you, then the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is definitely going to be a much better choice. But that being said, if you're not really using your phone a ton, and you really just need the basics, then even though the quality isn't nearly as good as the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, the Cricut Innovate E 5G will at least get the job done. Now for storage, both phones are getting 64 gigabytes of internal storage with microSD card expansion, but keep in mind with the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, the international version of this phone does have 128. But that being said, obviously if you're considering the Cricut Innovate E 5G, you clearly are going to be using Cricut, and with the version of the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G you get through Cricut, you will be getting 64GB. So that being said, in general, 64GB isn't really a bad amount of storage, and for the average user, it should be at least acceptable. But if you're more of a power user, if you have a lot of apps and stuff like that, keep in mind that while 64GB at one point in time was considered a lot of storage. At this point in 2022, with stuff like apps, the system, and just files in general getting larger and larger, 64 gigabytes is definitely not nearly what it used to be, and if you are more of a power user, it will fill up pretty quickly. So if you are in that situation, I would definitely consider a higher end device that has more storage. But again, for the average user, while 64 gigabytes isn't really ideal in my opinion, as long as you're mindful of what you're putting on your phone, you should at least get by. And again, both phones do have micro SD card expansion as well, so if you want to offload stuff like photos and videos to save some space, that's always an option. Now for security features, both phones have face unlock, and they also have fingerprint scanners. With the Cricut Innovate E5G, it's right here on the back, and with the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, it's right here on the power key. But starting with the Cricut Innovate E5G, let's go ahead and give them a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the A23 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, both fingerprint scanners worked real well. And again, remember, both phones do have face unlock too, so if you want to use that instead, you always can. Now taking a look at the camera setups here, both phones have water drop notches for the front facing cameras. With the Cricut Innovate E 5G, this camera is 5 megapixels. And with the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, this camera is 8 megapixels. Then on the back, with the Cricut Innovate E 5G, we got a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. With the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, we got a quad camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera as well. So in terms of features and photo quality, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is clearly better. On one hand with the Cricut Innovate E 5G, you're really only going to be taking regular photos with this phone, and I guess portrait mode too, but with the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, this phone has pretty much all the features you can expect in a mid-range phone, including an ultra wide camera and a macro camera. And not only are we getting all the features here, but this phone does take really high quality photos, maybe not as good as something like a Samsung 
Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, but definitely compared to a more entry-level phone like the Cricut Innovate E5G, the photos you can take with the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G are significantly better. So in general, if you're taking a lot of photos and the camera is really an important thing to you, then the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is definitely going to be a much better choice. But on the other hand, if you're really more of a casual camera user and you just want to get the occasional photo here and there, maybe to send to friends and family, or maybe you're using something like Snapchat where the quality isn't super important, in that kind of situation, while it really doesn't have very many features, the Cricut Innovate E5G will still at least get the job done. Now as far as RAM and processor go, with the Cricut Innovate E5G, we're getting 4GB of RAM with the MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor, and with the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, we're getting 4GB of RAM as well with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G processor. So as far as performance goes, both phones are definitely really good for what they are, but while the Cricut Dream 5G is not slow by any means, from my experience, I would say the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is significantly faster, so if you're going to be on your phone a little bit more, then the A23 5G will be a better choice, but if you're more of a casual user, or even a moderate user for that matter, and you're mainly doing stuff like web browsing, social media, things like that, that don't really take a whole lot of processing power to do, the Cricut Innovate E5G is definitely going to be perfectly fine, and while the A23 5G again is a little bit faster, you still will get a perfectly fine experience with the Cricut Innovate E5G. That being said, I did run Geekbench 5 benchmark tests on these phones, and here are the scores right here. As you can see, again, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is quite a bit faster, so if you are doing more high performance activities like mobile gaming, or you're just going to be on your phone a lot, then again, the A23 5G, while still not being nearly as fast as something like a flagship phone for example, is still going to be significantly faster than the Cricut Innovate E5G. But again, for more basic activities, in my experience, the Cricut Innovate E5G is still going to get the job done perfectly fine. Now for the battery, with the Cricut Innovate E5G, we're getting a 4000 mAh battery that supports 10 watt fast charging, and the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G has a 5000 mAh battery that supports 25 watt fast charging. So in general, between the two, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G has a clear advantage, not only having a significantly larger battery, but also supporting much better fast charging. So in general, if battery life and longevity and charging speeds are important to you, then of course the A23 5G will be a better choice. But on the other hand, if you just want a battery that's not terrible, and you're not really concerned that much about battery life, maybe you have your phone plugged in all day anyway. In that case, the Cricut Innovate E5G will still be perfectly fine. But again, with a 5000 mAh battery, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G does have a huge advantage here, so definitely keep this in mind. Now when it comes to the software, both phones do have Android 12, which is especially nice to see with the Cricut Innovate E5G, considering a lot of Cricut branded phones like this only have Android 11. But that being said, despite these phones having the same software as of the recording of this video, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G, like all Samsung Galaxy A series phones, is going to get up to 5 years of software support, so you can expect to get some major updates with this phone, whereas with the Cricut Innovate E5G, I doubt this phone's even going to get Android 13, especially considering the Cricut Dream 5G that's been out for about a year now, still only has Android 11. So overall, if you care about the software, and you want the latest version of Android, then again, despite these phones having the same software right now, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is going to end up having an advantage. And one more thing to keep in mind here is that both phones do have NFC, so if you like to make contactless mobile payments using tap and pay, then you'll be happy to know that you can do that with either of these phones. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? In general, in pretty much every way, I would say the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is a significantly better device. Not only are we getting a much better display here, but this phone also has a way better camera setup with a lot more features and much better photo quality. The A23 5G is also significantly faster, it has a larger battery that supports better fast charging, and being a Samsung Galaxy A series phone versus a Cricut branded phone, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is also going to get much better software support. But that being said, for what it is, the Cricut Innovate E5G is really not a bad phone at all, and depending on the deals and promotions going on at the time, you could even get this phone for free. So if you really don't need any fancy features, and you just need something for the basics, with a decent display, an acceptable amount of storage, NFC so you can use tap and pay, and really good performance, honestly in that case, the Cricut Innovate E5G is still going to be a perfectly fine option. But this concludes my comparison between the Cricut Innovate E5G and the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about either of these phones individually, I will be linking to several other videos about them in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.